Hey folks, I am back with a pair of battles uh, showcasing my newly redone Val team, um, now redone to be uh, UU compliant, both uh, Smogon and Pokemon Online tiers. Anyway, um, my first opponent is Jade Hex, and while I lead off with Donphan, he leads off with Metacham, gets the fake out, and that does way more damage than I was expecting considering how bulky and physically defensive um, Peanut is. Anyway, I really should have done the calcs here, but I was thinking that I could survive one um, high jump kick. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and Peanut is taken out. I really couldn't believe that. That was amazing. Um, but so anyway, no rocks set up on my end. Um, I've lost my spinner. I'm kind of screwed. Anyway, um, my opponent switches out uh, into Regirock as I get off a Tailwind um, with my um, K, uh, short for Quetzalcoatl, um, which is my name for Sigilith, um, which is replacing um, Reunculus as kind of um, my magic guard, awesome, awesome Pokemon. Anyway, he sets up Stealth Rocks as I cripple him with Burn, so I'm not fearing any attacks from this guy. Um, yeah, I take some... I, yeah, so I get burned again, but that's the great thing about uh, Magic Guard. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and switch into Kazulu because, you know, even though he's burned, I don't... Oh, well, I have Roost, but um, I figure this is probably the better move. And indeed, he goes ahead and goes for the Thunder Wave, which at the time I'm like, Psh, I don't care. So yeah, um, Kazulu, you've seen him on, uh, you've seen it on my uh, singles team. This is actually rebred, so loses its shiny, but gains um, the regenerator ability thanks to the Dream World. Um... And, uh, you know, it's it's the same build, specially defensive, uh, really awesome Pokemon. Anyway, I predict the switch into uh, into uh, Lilligant, I'm like, ha, I got you, and then I get the Parahax, I'm like, oh no, I cannot believe I got Parahaxed! Um, and my Tailwind peters out, yeah, Tailwind does not last very long, um, I'm, maybe I shouldn't run Tailwind as a strategy, but, you know, for those three turns that it is around, it is quite useful. Anyway, uh, of course, it's gonna uh, quiver dance, um, but I'm hoping that, you know, I can wall it, and I'm hoping that I can do some damage, because, um, my, um, Sigilith does, in fact, run Air Slash, uh, instead of Psychic, because, uh, there's no one who's completely immune to Air Slash, so I figure if Sigilith is my last Pokemon against the Dark type, I don't want it to, um, only know, uh, Psychic. Anyway, um, unfortunately, uh, at plus two, Lilligant is going to be able to take my Air Slashes. I really should have sent in Starlooker in the first place. Starlooker is my newly rebred Embor. Um, Starlooker is also a reference to um, the Ender's Game Quartet, just like uh, Human uh, was. Anyway, um, I'm hoping that I can use a physical attack against this uh, Lilligant, um, or a, a physical fire attack against this Lilligant. So yeah, rebred, um, flawless stats, also jolly nature, so it's a pure physical attacker, and should have a little bit more kick to it. Anyway, unfortunately he sleep powders me, and I'm completely screwed, because what am I going to do now? I'm like, oh my god, I cannot believe this. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Sleep powder plus quiver dance. Uh, says broken to me. I don't know why this thing is an OU. Um, well, someone can probably tell me. Anyway, he goes ahead and goes for the pedal dance, and now, so, so now I see a ray of sunshine here. Eventually he's gonna get confused. Um, and unfortunately I'm still asleep, and that does way more damage than I was expecting, so that's plus three. Um, so I'm like, I'm counting my pedal dances here, so that was one pedal dance, and it's gonna be between three and five until he confuses himself. So I gotta go, I gotta call back Starlooker, um, because I'm hoping to use it later on. Um, I've got uh, a cleric on this team, and so here's number two pedal dance, and I'm hoping uh, special defensive Kazulu will be able to tank this. Um, no such luck. Look at that. That's insane. So that's two pedal dances so far. Two pedal dances. Uh, 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 um, yeah. Sorry, Sesame Street. Um, fun times. Um, okay, let's call back Kazulu here, and I'm going to go ahead and send him K, who should also resist this. Uh, I don't remember how, what my uh, EV spread is, but I think it's got some special, special defensive EVs here. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be a two-hit KO as well. So now that's three pedal dances, not confused. So I'm like, okay, a little bit of hacks. Um, you know, it's going, it's going to be a long one. Uh, so I go ahead and send Kazulu back out, hoping that with the regenerator, um, I'll be able to take one more. Um, so here comes the pedal dance. Uh, uh, and that is going to hit, and that's going to take out, take me out. So that's four pedal dances. Um, poor Kazulu, I really should have saved it for later. Um, so I go ahead and send in my um, my uh, Selgor. Uh, had I sent it in early, I probably could have final gambited this guy, but no, I didn't. So this is five. This is five pedal dances, and so now it's got to be confused. 
Um, Jane is taken out, and he's not confused. I'm like, what the heck? And Jade Hex sends me a PM and says, own tempo. And I'm like, are you serious? This guy runs own tempo? And this guy is totally, totally broken. I cannot believe this. And so now he's got a complete sweep going on. This is going to be a, the worst battle I have ever, ever had. I've had some pretty bad losses in the past, but I don't think I've ever lost 6 nothing. Um, at least not in Gen 5. Um, I actually can't remember losing 6 no nothing ever. Um, but, you know, I'd have to go through my entire archive. Anyway, so Starlooker is taken out, and I'm down to my last Pokemon, Lantern, who I've been saving. Yeah, Lantern is now on this team, kind of to replace um, Magnazone. Um, and this is the game, and that was completely, completely awful. Good game, Jade Hex, and, you know, this, okay, this was my first battle with this new team. I was testing it out, and so obviously I have found that there were problems. Um, there are still problems that I haven't yet fixed, um, but, uh, one easy fix was putting in Whirlwind onto my, um, Sigilith. Anyway, so here's the second battle. Um, my opponent this time is Puller, um, uh, Puller to Pi, um, as I think he said it's pronounced. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it again. Ah! Anyway, we had some issues, um, with this battle. Um, there was a Wi-Fi disconnect kind of early on. Anyway, I lead off with my Don fan again. He leads off with his Nitto Queen. Nitto Queen? Uh, props for using Queen instead of King. Anyway, um, he uses Super Fang. The first battle, uh, his first Super Fang missed, and so I was a little bit grumpy that his Super Fang hit this time. But I'm pretty sure he can't uh, KO me with Earthquake because Don Fan is amazing. And indeed, uh, I survive. And so I'm able to get off an Earthquake after I get off my rocks. Um, and that gets him down, uh, gets her down rather, to her Focus Sash. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I go ahead and go for the Ice Shard here. Um, and that's going to go ahead and take out Nido Queen. Um, so if any of you are curious what this music is, and you know, didn't look in the um, commentary, it is uh, it is an excerpt from Carmina Burana, uh, which is a piece by Carl Orff. Uh, you'll probably recognize the last movement, um, but basically uh, it's a, it's a song cycle um, based on some poems this guy found written by these really bawdy um, priests back in the Middle Ages. Uh, it's an amazing piece of music, and I love it. Anyway, um, nice prediction here, um, switching into my Kazulu, um, and, you know, he can't do anything to me, um, and so uh, he switches out with um, Volt Switch, which does nothing, and sends out his um, his Jellicent, and, uh, which was kind of a bad move for him. I go ahead and go for the um, Power Whip, which is absolutely amazing because, you know, this was his one OU Pokemon. Uh, I almost take him out, don't quite, um, but it, you know, on the, that was on the Switch, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be faster. Uh, oh no, I guess he's faster. But anyway, he Ice Beams me, and I'm pretty sure I can take it, unless this, is, this guy's running special attack uh, EVs. And I go ahead and take it out on the next turn with Earthquake, so now I've dealt with his biggest threat. So yeah, there's a funny story about that. Um, he said, or I said, you, you battle okay? And he was like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And he shows me his team, and it has a Metagross on it. I'm like, um, Metagross is OU. And I'm like, and, uh, but I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, let's just have the battle. And anyway, there's the disconnect, um, the Wi-Fi crapped out on us, and so he's like, it's okay, I'll fix it. And he brings in Jellicent, and I'm like, Jellicent is more OU. And so, yeah, excellent switch here into Lantern, but I was like, you know, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, we'll just have the battle. And as you saw, my Tangrowth expertly dealt with it. Um, anyway, uh, this was a really weird switch on his part, uh, switch, uh, you know, switching into his, um, Rampardos, and I go ahead and, um, Scald him, which is an easy one-hit KO, considering that Rampardos is definition of a glass cannon, um, uh, great attacking stats, awful, um, defensive stats, uh, anyway, uh, he sends out his uh, Samurott, and I'm like, why would you switch into a water type when I've got an electric, when I'm, you know, a part electric type? And, you know, fine, Grass Knot, but uh, Lantern is uh, especially defensive, and with this Pokemon taken out, I've got a little sweep going with a Lantern. Yeah, I, I didn't think you'd ever see a Lantern sweep, right? Um, yeah, p perfect timing, by the way, considering the music in the background, O Fortuna, kind of epic. Yeah, uh, I assume that most of you have heard this piece of music before. It's everywhere. I think, um, you know, the Nation of Britain ran a survey and found that this is one of the most played pieces of classical music uh, in existence. Um, but yeah, uh, he's 
uh, he's uh, using his Jolteon, trying to shadow ball me, ain't doing nothing. Uh, I go ahead and take him out with an Ice Beam, uh, thinking that he might switch out into his last Pokemon. Uh, Lantern is still surviving. He's down to his Jedediah, um, his Drift Blim, and, you know, what, what's he going to do to me? A Shadow Ball, fine. Um, I decide to leave in Lantern because, hey, I've got a sweep going. Might as well see how long it can go. I go ahead and Thunderbolt here, hoping he can take him out in one hit. Um, it does not quite... Uh, he has just a little bit of HP, he gets off some such a barrier recovery, and I just consider, you know, okay, how much damage does that Shadow Ball do? Um, it took, you know, I think I can survive this, I'm not quite sure. Here comes the Shadow Ball, and 11 HP left, I survive. Thunderbolt takes him out, and just as O Fortuna says, you know, some days you're down, and the, uh, the next day you're really up. And it's the really funny, because apparently, um... Pollard to Pi beat Jade Hex at some point. So, kind of crazy how all this works out. Um, and it was a great battle. Um, great battles, Jade Hex. Great battle, Pollard to Pi. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.